Any other questions about growing garlic, which is my favorite thing. Hi, welcome to Lilies and Tomatoes, your go-to place for simple and practical tips and tricks on how to start a garden all the way through how to use what you grow. This is from my live class that I teach on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays on Facebook. If you'd like to attend a live class or ask me a question, check out the link in the description. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my basement workshop. Tonight we're talking about the two different types of garlic and which type of garlic you sh is best for growing in your area. If we have not met yet, my name is Quincy Adams and I want to help you grow some of your own food in a small space on a budget. Let's get started. Okay, so the two types of garlic are hard neck and soft neck. The hard neck garlic has a hard neck. I didn't make this up. So, um... I, this is, I don't even know what this is. Actually this, my little sample garlic here is a hard neck because it's got a, it's hard to see. I don't want to take this whole thing apart, but in here there is a stem, like a, a thick stem. So with a hard neck garlic, you're going to have a thick center stem and you're going to have one row of cloves around that central stem. With a soft neck garlic, the, there's not, the stem is going to be softer and you're going to have multiple rows of cloves in one head. So with a hard neck, you're going to end up with something like, I don't know, like 68 cloves in one head. And with a soft neck, you could have as many as like, I don't know, 15 or so, because there's going to be two, two rows, potentially more of cloves around that neck. So that's the difference between hard neck and soft neck as far as like identifying them. Um, as far as how they grow, um, hard neck garlic is better for Northern climates. Um, if you're in like kind of a, an in between, gar uh, in between <laughs> climate, you can grow either, but hard neck handles the cold weather better than soft neck. It, um, and hard necks are the ones that create the scapes. So if you want to, Make, like have sauteed scapes or pesto, scape pesto, scape, scape pesto, wow, say that three times fast, then you're going to want to grow hard neck varieties. And then um, if you're growing from the bull bills, remember we talked about these from these little flowers, you're, it's going to take you two seasons to get a, clo uh, a garlic head. So the first season you're going to get a small, um, garlic head I get or it's not really a head is I guess it's called a round but you're just going to get one one big bowl and then when you plant it again the next year you're going to get something that breaks into multiple cloves within the same head hard neck garlic has a shorter storage life so it's generally only good for six months soft neck garlic is good for mild winters or, or uh, Mediterranean climate they require less chill hours. That's why you can grow them in the south or in the warmer climates. And they store longer. So they can store for up to one year because they have a lot more paper on them. So all the paper around, this is the paper part. And um, that is not focusing. But the paper part on the garlic head, soft neck varieties have more paper. So they store longer because each individual clove is more protected um from the um from the environment so if you're in a colder climate but you want to grow a soft neck neck garlic then try to find a warm microclimate in your garden or just mulch it really heavily to protect it from the extreme cold and make sure that you have um well draining soil so when you first plant garlic you have to water it in and keep it moist so when it first starts to grow, the roots are gonna grow from the bottom and then it's just gonna start, um, it's not gonna do anything at first because when you first plant garlic, you wanna plant it um, about six weeks before your first frost date, or not before your first frost date, before the ground freezes. So sometime either, either a couple weeks before your frost date or a couple weeks after your frost date is generally fine, but you need to make sure that it's in the ground and it's established before the ground freezes completely. Depending on your the climate where you're at, your zone, it's gonna be faster or slower. Like the lower your zone number, the faster 
the ground is going to freeze after your first frost of the year. So, uh, and I, you're going to have to like figure that out. It's, there's not like a, in this zone, the ground freezes on the state, but that kind of information is not anywhere that I could find because it looked. So the roots are going to get established. The plant's going to get all settled and then it's just going to be kind of dormant for the winter. And hard neck garlic needs a lot of chill hours. So it needs to be in temperatures that are in between 32 degrees and 50 degrees in the ground for several weeks in order to get it to bulb up. And then in the spring, that's when you're going to see the, the leaves shoot out the top and they're going to get tall and around, usually around June, July, that's when the garlic is ready. And at that point, you're going to see the leaves start to die back. If they're scapes, the scapes will show up around June and they'll start to t the curl. And that's when you can harvest the scapes. You do not want to leave them on there because these little bulbils will make sure that your actual garlic head is smaller. Your garlic head is going to be about 25% smaller if you leave the scapes on and let them form bulbils. So if you want big garlic heads, take the scapes off, take the bulbils off. If you don't care or you just think it's funny to play with the bulbils, um, then leave them on. Or if you want to do some kind of fancy garlic braiding, I've seen some people save some of these, let a couple of them go to bulbils and then when they braid their garlic, then they incorporate the little flower heads into the garlic braid. Pretty cool. If you don't mind, some of your garlic heads are going to be smaller. But that's how that works. And then, usually in July, you harvest your garlic. That's pretty much it for storage, growing, longer. Does anyone have any questions on that? Um, garlic, it's pretty forgiving. If you are in a warmer climate and you want to grow hard neck garlic, then what you need to do is you need to put it in a cool, dark place for a couple of weeks before you plant it. Um, so it needs to be somewhere where it's going to be between 32 and like 45 ish degrees. So your refrigerator could work if you've got a cold basement or a um, root cellar type deal, then you can put it down there. But for a, a couple of weeks, longer if you can uh if you've got the time then you want to make sure that you're putting it in a cold area so it can get those chill hours in before you plant it in the ground because it's not going to be as cold as the garlic needs outside if you live in a very warm climate so if but um the ideal time for most people to grow garlic just plant it in the fall is going to be sometime in September, October to November. You can plant garlic in the spring. It needs to have at least 90 days in the ground if you're gonna plant it in the spring and it needs to go in the ground when the ground is still cold. So don't plant, try to plant garlic in May if your last frost date is in March because by then it's gonna to be too warm. You wanna make sure that you get it into the ground when it's still cold. It's not gonna like, fry up or anything, but it's going to stop growing when the ground gets really warm. So it's just going to sit there. And, oh wait, is that a question? Okay. Is it possible to grow either kind indoors? You know what? I don't know. I'm going to guess yes, but then you're going to run into the chill hours issue. So I would guess if you're going to do, maybe if you plant it in a container and you have it inside, Put it outside during some cool days it definitely if you're particularly if you're growing hard neck garlic it needs to have those cold temperatures for several weeks uh, but it doesn't need to freeze or anything so you could probably put it out during the day like if you put it out get on your front porch or um, put it really close to a cold window um, during the day in the winter time and then bring it back inside at night i don't know if a hydroponic situation is going to give you peak garlic, but it'll probably grow something. Um, and you can definitely also grow garlic from the grocery store. It's not, um, if you can, if you're going to grow garlic from the grocery store, organic is best. 
but um because they they say that garlic is sprayed to inhibit sprouting but i have grown garlic from the grocery store and i haven't had a problem so i mean if you're going to do that organic is best but it can be done i i'm i can't promise you're going to get the most alt optimal results but it can be done it will sprout on your counter i've i've seen it um so are there any other questions any other questions about growing garlic which is my favorite thing and and let's see it's the end of september now so in like three weeks we will probably on a saturday because it should still be light outside we'll try to do some garlic live and if you guys hear my neighbors screaming and cursing you guys are just going to hear my neighbors screaming and cursing uh <laughs> but i really want to try to do this live outside we might do a couple inside and test the outside inside um theory because it should work but it definitely needs to chill hours i ordered some soft neck garlic maybe i'll try a couple soft neck and a couple hard neck and see how they do inside as an experiment in fabric bag so um any other questions going once going twice all right, going three times. That's it. Have a good night. That is all for garlic for right now until mid March or mid October, and then we will plant some garlic. Have a good night, guys. Bye.